Tools required, two 7 16 inch wrenches, short 9 16 wrench, not required but recommended, adjustable wrench, 9 16 inch deep well socket, 3 quarter inch socket, 3 8 drive, 8 inch extension, 7 16 socket, 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 drive impact, optional, not required, 3 8 16 by 2 and a half inch extended bolts, optional but not shown. Remove the bolts from the front cover. Remove the bolts from the transfer box cover. Remove the drain plug from the transfer box. Be sure the drain pan is able to hold three gallons. Remove the upper manifold and check balls. Teflon tape the drain plug and reinstall after the transfer box has been completely cleaned. The pistons can be manually moved. Left and right manual toggle. Hold the left switch. Use the volume control valve as a throttle. Hold the right switch to retract the cylinder. Use the volume control as a throttle. Repeat the process to get familiar with the manual controls. Turn off the pump. Remove the bolts from the cylinder side first. Remove the bolts out of the piston body. Turn on the pump. Using the manual controls, push the piston in slowly and retract the cylinder until the connecting rod falls out. Turn off the pump. Lift out the connecting rod. Turn on the pump. Extend the cylinder until it touches the piston body. Turn off the pump. Install the extended bolts to remove the piston. The factory bolts can be used, however, the extended bolts make the job a little easier. Turn on the pump. Extract the piston from the cylinder using the manual controls. Turn off the pump. Remove the extended bolts. The piston is now removed.